Hi guys, I just gave my pet guinea pig bear a bath not too long ago. He is kind of wet, but most of all he's dry and that's good. So, um, I was thinking maybe I should just make a video and help people and give them advice for bathing a guinea pig, such as if you're like not really experienced because you just got your own guinea pig or you're kind of scared giving them a bath or you never gave them a bath before. Um, here are some tips. It's actually not that um, hard. It's kind of easy. First, you should get everything ready. Um, what I do is I have my special little cup to pour, you know, water on the body because I can't, it's easier so you don't have to get handfuls of water and pour it onto your guinea pig. Um, but what I usually do is I make the water the right temperature and I fill the sink, my bathroom sink up to about three to four inches high and it should be um, feet length or leg length and um, it's not so high, the hot water's not so high. Make sure it's nice and shallow for them. And I also place a little mini washcloth so it's easier for their feet to grip on. It's more better. And it also can catch their poops but once the water's in the sink with the washcloth, the washcloth tends to float so it's kind of hard, but it's better than not using it. Anyway, so I have the water set to a nice temperature. I do it a little um, above warm just to make sure it's um, like not so cold because it's really cold um, where I live, so I want it to make it nice and warm for him. And anyway, um, if your guinea pig thinks it's hot, it should jump out easily, but then again, your guinea pig can be terrified of the water since it's the first time being in the water. But mostly when your guinea pig first introduces it to a bath, he's mostly just scared and terrified and doesn't move much. Uh, anyway, afterwards, um, this time for the first time, I had to clean my guinea pig's grease gland. So I did that first and then I washed his whole body afterwards with my small animal shampoo. Uh, a shampoo you can bathe your guinea pig with. Uh, people say baby shampoo is all of a sudden harmful to your guinea pig or pet. So I don't know. I don't use it anymore so I don't know. I just use my super pet small critter shampoo. Uh, you, I guess you can use kitten shampoo but I think that's the same as baby shampoo. But anyway, you can use any of those, I guess. Just don't use human shampoo. That's not right. <laughs> and anyway, you can use any of those shampoos. And just make sure your guinea pig gets thoroughly wet. It doesn't get soaked. And make sure you avoid the ears, eyes, nose, mouth, the whole face, practically. Just um, stop where their neck is. And so the whole like head is not wet and then afterwards you want to lather and um, lather in the shampoo then you rinse it make sure to get the belly the little legs the back the bum um, their feet I guess and yeah you just rinse them off and then I place mine in a towel and I kind of dry it off and then afterwards it's my guinea pig I don't want to go really rough dry him like really hard because that's harmful and it could hurt them so I just use a human hair blow dryer just to be more better and it's more you know easier it just makes sure it's on a cool setting and it's about one foot away from the guinea pig and um, yeah my guinea pig's a lot better he's more drier that way just really make sure to put it on a cool setting and anyway yeah, and then once my guinea pig is mostly all dry, if he's like a little wet, like just a little, it's okay. Just make sure he's not soaked and put him in the cage because that just can make him sick and it's also like <clears throat> mentally bad for him. And um, anyway, I guess that's it, but my guinea pig's in his hidey house grooming himself. And um... Oh yeah, another tip is, when I blow dry my guinea pig, I set him on like a fleece, an overlapped fleece or a, a towel, and I just give him like a, a lot of treats just to make him 
not walk around and get scared, just to make him content and don't walk and just stay still and relax. And it makes him more relaxed because he knows that nothing bad's gonna happen to him since he has his food. And yeah, that's a tip and advice for guinea pig owners out there. Um, yeah. And I guess that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye.